Welcome to this blog edition of Patel. I am Jindi Six One. And right now, I am at Chandigarh Gandhi Park, and uh, this particular uh, uh, venue uh, is being. Uh, maintained by Dalit uh, Kala Karpi Chandigarh and uh, right beside me is a very serious artist. Her name is uh, Daljit Kaur. So uh, we are just going to have a sort of a formal chat uh, with uh, Daljit Kaur. Uh, uh, she is uh, participating uh, in this uh, uh, festival uh, as a serial artist. So welcome ma'am. Thank you. Uh, tell me something about this uh, particular form of uh, painting. You are not using brush. Okay. It's like this. Okay. Long ago, uh, I dropped the brush because the brush needed to be cleaned too often. And I also like the effect, the three-dimensional effect that knife creates. Okay. Usually, it is used for uh, doing some highlights in most by most artists. Okay. Uh, but over the years, I have developed my hand in such a way that I can do the flat, absolutely like a brush, or I can use it in three-dimensional effect, and it comes very handy for me when I do the uh, landscapes, like making the rocks or the trees. Or the foliage, so it's very helpful, more helpful than the brush could have been. Uh, tell me something about uh, the. Uh, yeah, I have read somewhere that uh, it was a sort of self-taught journey for you. Yes, uh, it is a self-taught journey because I could not pursue it as a subject through my graduation. Uh, so, like a housewife. I occasionally did a few paintings, but I also learned from the books, whatever books I could find on painting. Okay. Mostly it was uh, by Walter Foster, okay. very well-known uh, person, okay. uh, from whom, from those books I could learn what was the third dimension, what were the values, what was the tonal effect, etc. So that was helpful, the absence of a proper teacher. Okay. And uh, what about this uh, eight levels of uh, London? Uh, yeah, that was uh, society, something like that. Yeah, because I was uh, at a school, St. Mary's High School, Nepal, okay. and it was affiliated to the Cambridge and Oxford, uh, to Oxford in uh, London. So my art teacher, she saw me, she saw my talent, okay. and uh, I think I was just one of the few students who were enrolled for those uh, papers of Royal Drawing Society of London. Okay. So in those times, of course, like a child of 13 to 16, okay. uh, I did very well. And that taught me a lot of the basic rules which are being taught now in colleges. So I suppose that was at the back of my mind throughout my life. And now that I have more time, I can always go back to it, follow about, think about it, and uh, put it in my painting. So uh, still now, is it a hobby or it's a full-time profession? No, it's still a hobby because okay, I just love to do it. That's it. Uh, for a, being a professional, I need a marketing. I also need customers. Have you ever sold your painting? Uh, yes, I have sold uh, about uh, uh, 30 to 40 paintings, okay. but uh, mostly. Uh, uh, they were taken by a friend of my brother who is an industrialist in uh, Delhi. Okay. Okay. So I don't know what he's doing with my paintings, okay. but he picked them up from me. Okay. And uh, yeah. tell me, uh, you have uh, mostly traveled in some Himalayan region. So uh, tell me something about your background. Okay. Uh, like uh, as a child, my, my father was moving around in a transferable job. Okay. So I have moved throughout the Himalayas areas, Nepal, Bhutan, uh, the coastal areas also. Okay. So my school, of course, was in Nepal. Okay. Five years of boarding school. Okay. And uh, uh, there I had to trek to school uh, for holidays. So trekking is like walking into the Himalayas for. <laughs> So it is with my father that I moved around more okay. because I went to all the regions of Nepal and Bhutan and uh, for uh, Kashmir Valley. Okay. So I uh, like trekking with him, you know, because we were my father was with a division which was building roads and bridges first time. So most of the time we had to walk 
to home. And he was in the civil or defense? Uh, he was in the CPWD, okay, that is a public, public, work. public works. So probably at those times I must have been dreaming, looking at the scenery okay. or thinking of it. One day I'll be able to paint. <laughs> That's my Himalayan background. Do, have you been to Chael also? Chael uh, school? Chael, no, not the winter school. But I've seen Shimla. I've seen. Oh, I was okay. born in Sundarnagar. I was born in Himachal. Himachal. At which place? Uh, Sundarnagar. Sundarnagar, Mandi. Mandi. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So you had your education at the Sundarnagar? No, I had my education all over India. <laughs> all over India. On, <laughs> and, on and, the road. and Nepal. <laughs> okay. So you are still continuing. How old are you right now? Uh, I'm now 77 and a half. 77 and a half. And still continuing? Uh, yes, I think I'm 76 or whatever. Born 1947. Okay. Uh, so now, right now, I have like a full time hobby. Okay. Uh, it passes my time. Uh, that is, uh, I need emotional sort of a, uh, you know, fire. Okay. At the same time, I mean, I include it in my daily activity okay. of physical work and uh, about four to six hours daily I put in. Yeah, this is the only activity you generally spend time with or you have some other patients also? Oh, I've got too many, too many activities, Interest. <laughs> too many okay. interests. So it was very difficult to come down to painting only. Okay which I have done now okay. but um, yeah, otherwise I have adopted one green belt in Chandigarh I have yeah. turned it into a park yeah. uh, in sector 39 sector 39 <laughs> so, okay. so if you come you will see flower beds that have been made by me, dug by me okay. and flowers have been planted and that there is a public place, that's public a public park. place. Okay. so I put in 2 hours of work every day every in the day. morning okay. in my park, that's my physical work uh, this is one and what? And the other, of course, the housework is there. Okay. <laughs> and the reading is there. Reading. Writing okay. is there. I'm also part of a writing group. Okay. I've tried to write a few stories. Of course, one or two were published. Uh, That's it. What, what, what was that uh, published? Uh, it is a Easy. magazine called Rivals Magazines. Okay. And they accept short stories. Okay. So, I, in my life, I've got so many incidents okay. which I would like the public to know about. So, one such was... I made it uh, last year uh, at the time of Diwali okay. that short story was published okay. uh, yeah, as a heading was homecoming okay. uh, how we have moved so much away from the actual homecoming of Ram uh, and just you know moving about with our egos of egos you know like using so much of fireworks uh, so much how of long you have been associated with the Lalit Kala uh, Academy yes. no I have not been uh, this, this is for is, the first time you are participating this is the first time they invited me ok <laughs> so so far I have been in the house nobody has known about me ok oh. Who exactly gave you the invitation on behalf of this academy? <laughs> Mr. Bhim Malhotra. Mr. Bhim Malhotra. Because okay. he saw my work in the Orleans France where I put up the exhibition. Okay. And earlier in March I had put up the, where I had asked Ravindra Sharma. Okay. Actually I had promised Ravindra Sharma ji that I will put the, I will do my exhibition. Okay. Because he always thought I had the talent and I was not doing enough. Okay. So that was a promise. Okay. So you know as our uh, we are old as our friends started passing away okay. it became very strong in me that I must keep my promises okay. so this year I put up the exhibition of my work okay thank you very much thank uh, you thank she you. was uh, Daljeet Kaur a senior artist who is uh, just participating in this uh, uh, event organized by Lalit uh, Kala Academy Chandigarh thank you very much